Hello Falcons family. I'm here with news for you. So stay tuned until the end and I'll tell you everything. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to the channel. Let's get to the news. The Atlanta Falcons have made a move to bolster their practice squad, signing linebacker Frank Ginda after starting inside linebacker Nate Landman missed Wednesday's practice due to a thigh injury. Despite coach Arthur Smith expressing optimism that Landman's injury is not significant, the Falcons added Ginda to the practice squad for depth. Frank Ginda is no stranger to the Falcons, having joined the team in August. He played in two preseason games, recording 12 total tackles, before being cut. Ginda's return to Atlanta is seen as an insurance policy, especially if Landman is unable to play in the upcoming game against the New York Jets on Sunday. The Falcons' inside linebacker depth has already been challenged this season, with Troy Anderson placed on injured reserve after just three games due to a pectoral injury that required surgery. Originally, Anderson was expected to play a significant role as one of the starting inside linebackers alongside Caden Ellis. However, his absence led to Landman stepping up, exceeding expectations and contributing significantly in the linebacker position. In his 11 games, with 9 starts, Landman has accumulated 73 tackles, for tackles for loss, for quarterback hits, 2 sacks, a forced fumble, and an interception. He currently ranks 3rd on the team in tackles, showcasing his impact on the defensive side. Apart from Landman's injury, other Falcons players who did not participate in Wednesday's practice include running back Corderell Patterson and Calais Campbell, both for rest days. Receiver Mac Collins and left tackle Jake Matthews were limited, while cornerback Mike Hughes participated fully. I'll be back soon with more news for you, so click that like button and subscribe to the channel. Go Falcons!